Isn't it amazing when you have an idea to do something good and help a charity or a foundation, how other people who share your passion will come together and volunteer to help out of nowhere. It all started by seeing many, many messages on the Instagram page of one of my favorite animal shelters here in Medellin called Refugio Animal Huella Vital, a small privately run shelter with around 250 dogs and cats, all being cared for without help from the government, relying 100% on donations from the public. And these desperate pleas for help are what inspired me to want to do something to help. So it all started with me posting some messages in some Facebook groups here in Medellin, where I met this awesome lady who I'm going to tell you a bit more about later on, and also running a separate little fundraiser through a company that I'm working with and getting some kind donations from some staff that work there, which also resulted in a 250 US dollar donation from the company called The Functionary. So thank you so much to them. Later in this video, I'm going to give thanks to every person that has donated to this cause. So come with me as I show you how we were able to donate hundreds of kilos of dog and cat food and other supplies that the foundation so desperately needed. This is a heartwarming story. Let's go. So we're just picking up supplies. We've got about 200 US dollars, which goes a long way in Colombia. So we've got a lot to buy. So far, three carts and counting. So <laughs> this is all of ours. So we have like 12, 12 bags of like eight kilos plus, lots of cat stuff. Our first stop was to a local supermarket to spend around 200 US dollars of donations on purchases of dog and cat food and supplies, as well as some cleaning products, which animal shelters are always in need of. And we ended up with enough supplies to fill our first car before meeting up with a small group of other kind co-workers and friends who were bringing some additional bags of pet food to donate. We ended up needing two cars to carry everything. This is my co-worker Camilo and he and his family and friends also made some very generous donations as well. And then we were on our way, a roughly 45 minute drive to the shelter in the Copacabana area located at the northeast of Medellin City. And guess what happened? <laughs> Not everything goes smoothly when you're doing something like this. The car that we were traveling in with four passengers and probably around 100 kilos of food could not get up this very, very steep hill. So we had to get out and walk part of the way, which was apparently about 15 more blocks up a hill like this. It was crazy. We walked for a while, but fortunately Camilla was able to go to the shelter, take out all of the pet food and everything that was heavy and come back and get us in a different car because that would have been a killer walk <laughs> the whole way up. Nothing goes nice and smoothly, but it's a fun little memory and story to tell. Didn't think I'd be climbing a mountain like this today. Look how steep it is. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> And eventually we got there. This awesome group of people who I'm traveling with today are co-workers and friends, and also a kind lady named Lissy, the lady in red who you'll see shortly, who contacted me through Facebook and volunteered to join us on the trip. And she also donated 60 kilograms of food, which is amazing. This awesome group of people volunteered their time and money for this amazing cause, and I'm so grateful for all of their help. And it's time to meet the dogs. So, so many dogs. And they were so excited to have visitors. I was amazed by how many dogs this shelter takes care of and I could immediately see how well they are taken care of. They appear to be healthy and active and happy dogs and you can see how the staff genuinely care for them. And having so many large dogs, you can only imagine how much food they would go through, which is why regular donations are the lifeline for shelters such as this one. And there were some very beautiful dogs here. It makes me wonder why anyone would want to give them up. Beautiful. <laughs> Hello. What's up? And in addition to the nearly 200 dogs that the shelter cares for, there are also many, many beautiful cats who were also very friendly and loved having some company and attention. Beautiful. <laughs> As someone who considers himself more of a dog person, even I was wishing I could adopt one of these beautiful cats. They were so friendly. Mm -hmm. 
As you can see, there are some special needs dogs here that are also looked after by the kind staff. And I got to visit the second cat room with some cute little kittens and many other beautiful adults. Oh wow, hay muchos más allá. As you can see, these carers who are on the property 24 7 do an incredible job of taking care of all of these animals. Not only do they have to make sure they're well fed, but they also do a great job of making sure they're all healthy and the property is kept very clean and tidy, which must be a massive job in itself. If these shelters didn't exist, what would happen to these animals? That's why the support of the community is so essential. And if you'd like to help, stick around and I'll explain how you can do so. So I want to give a very special shout out to these people on screen who donated either in cash or buying food and supplies that we donated on the day. Now, coming back to this lady who I mentioned very briefly at the start of the video, I did a video chat with her and we were talking about ways that we could help this foundation going forward. I was thinking about opening a store that sells t-shirts and clothing and things like that with all funds going to the foundation. But we're looking at other ways that we can make money so that we can support this foundation more long term, because I understand that what we did was a really great thing but it's not the long-term solution. So if you have any ideas of ways we can help this foundation going forward, please drop them in the comments. I'd really, really appreciate your feedback. My GoFundMe fundraiser, which I have a link to in the video description below, will be running until at least the end of 2024, probably longer because I really would like to keep this going for as long as possible. So if you do feel inspired to donate, then please do so using the link below. And 100% of the money raised, of course, will go directly to the foundation. Thanks a million for all your support, guys, and thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like and share it because it really helps a small channel like mine to grow and I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much, guys, and see you in the next one. If you'd like to support this channel so that I can make more videos for you more often, check out the video description below for links to my Buy Me A Coffee page and my brand new Etsy store where I'll be selling clothing and home goods with all fun supporting this channel. Thanks a million.